Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today's episode we'll be going over your options when it comes to pink gemstones. I know a lot of times, especially if you're in the marketplace looking for jewelry, and if you're specifically looking for pink gemstones, you're wondering to, to yourself, what are my options, right? So uh, that being said, I'm going to go over the most popular pink gemstones, uh, so you're in for a treat. I'm gonna get right into it for you. <laughs> Alright, so the first gemstone that I will be going over is the Morganite. Uh, this is actually a very, very popular stone. Uh, that being said, the Morganite typically uh, has a very soft pink uh, to a sort of a salmon color, okay? Uh, according to GIA, it's uh, if it's untreated, uh, then Morganite often has a strong orange color component creating a salmon-like color. The mineral is beryl, and on the Mo scale, it's basically the measuring the hardness of the gemstone is between a 7.5 to an 8, and it's available in natural and lab. The next stone is a quartz. Uh, the color is very light pink, and the stone is semi-translucent. The mineral is quartz composed of silicon and oxygen atoms. It's a seven in the Mo scale, and it's also available in natural and lab-created form. The next gemstone is a tourmaline. Um, now, again, tourmalines do have different colors, but in this case, it's a pink tourmaline. It's a silicate mineral, and again, a silicate mineral is a rock-forming mineral made of silicate groups. They are the largest and most important class of minerals that make up approximately 90% of the Earth's crust. The color is medium to medium dark pink. The mineral is a crystalline boron, silicon mineral compounded with elements such as aluminum, iron, magnesium, sodium, lithium, or potassium. The Mo scale is 7 to 7.5. Again, that's measuring the hardness of the gemstone and it's also available in natural and lab. The next pink stone that I want to go over is a baby pink passion topaz. Uh, now that's also a silicate mineral of aluminum and fluorine. The color is more of a light pink and it's an eight in the Mo scale and it's also available in natural and lab. The next stone is a pink spinel. Now the pink spinel is a medium reddish pink. The mineral is the magnesium aluminum member of the larger spinel group of minerals. It's about an 8 in the Mo scale and it's also available in natural and labs. Now this next stone uh, is probably the most uh, popular uh, pink gemstone uh, that most people will no, other than a morganite, and that's pink sapphire, okay? Basically, the color of a pink sapphire, rather, is between a medium to dark pink. The mineral is corundum, which makes up all sapphires. It's a nine on the Mo scale, and it's also natural in lab. Now, the last stone that I want to go over is also a sapphire but it's actually called the Padparacha, okay? Uh, this gemstone is actually not 100% pink, but it's rather a pinkish orange. It's a beautiful orangey pink color. Uh, it's actually about a medium to light reddish orange. It's also made of corundum, since uh, Padparacha is basically also a sapphire. It's a nine in the Mo scale and can be found in nature as well as be in lab created form. So as mentioned in the last couple of weeks, obviously in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna to continue to keep going over these types of videos where it's going to be a short form. I'm going to quickly break down all of the most popular gemstones by color, okay? So uh, we've already gone over the reds, the blues, the greens, and today is the pinks. And if you haven't seen the other ones yet, uh, there'll be links below, or at the same time, you can go ahead and check, check out all of our Geminars. It's definitely in there, okay? That being said, if you do like what you see here, leave a comment below, hit the like button. It definitely helps out the algorithm. It spreads 
a word for our channel. Uh, help us out. And if you've been uh, following us, then thank you again. If you are new to the channel, then welcome. Uh, and I'll continue to do these videos for you. That being said, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.